Hey, what's up guys? Your average wargamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And in this video, I am going to be featuring tier 10 tech tree destroyer, which is Gdansk. Now Gdansk is basically an alternate line to pan European line, which we you know guys, that is Holland. And Holland is a torpedo boat destroyer. And Gdansk is actually a bit different compared to Holland. And I will explain the reason why Gdansk is one of the best tech tree destroyers that you can actually grind in the game. And the reason is pretty simple. Gdansk have a lot of consumables as well as its really strong guns. I mean, the downside is that it does not have AP as you can see here. Down below there is no access to AP shells. But a Gdansk having 8 guns comes up with really absurd damage per minute. It's AG damage with this fire chance as you can see almost 10% and actually it is 10% with the alpha damage of 2000 basically makes Gdansk really good in fire starters like in a destroyer as well as it does have really good base speed of around 43 knots and with all of these things combined with the fact that it also by the way comes up with a radar which is 9 km you can actually counter basically everything in the game. I mean, except there are like exceptions like light cruisers because AP damage on light cruisers are pretty going to be effective. But in the case of Gdansk, it's not that bad. And now you will be able to find out the combo of having a smoke and hydro, oh, sorry, the radar. And I will just pop the radar since I get spotted and I just smoke up. And now Harugumo did realize me that I am basically in this position. He started to shoot me because, I mean, he has these really good guns as well. But Harukumo getting spotted by my radar and now he got spotted by something else. But the thing is that I have a division mate with me and uh, well, the Petropavlovsk also have a radar. So in this case, Harukumo going to get paid for that. I mean, he doesn't absolutely realize the fact that we are here. And so this guy in the middle of nowhere trying to get this buff and will eventually die. As you can see here, he tried to get the buff, but this will absolutely going to cost his whole ship and this is something that i should never recommend whenever you are playing destroyer especially in arms race mode that whenever you're pushing and you're doing this thing it's gonna be really bad like trading off your ship itself uh, just for the sake of getting a single buff is absolutely not worth it now they have lost a destroyer and gdansk as i said having this radar the smoke and the speed boost combo that can basically do a lot of stuff now in this case I got the first blood which is nice. Uh, the thing about the Gdansk also is that it does actually not have really good AA by the way. I mean it does have almost like around 4 km AA aura. And I have just seen the midway HE bombers. I mean unlike Holland, uh, I can't really able to do much about the midway HE bombs because they will just go and drop me easily regardless of my entire because entire is really really bad. Now in this case. Midway for some reason didn't go go for me, which I was absolutely surprised to see that. I mean, if the Midway does that, it is definitely means that he is absolutely not a good player. But anyways, uh, let's get back to this cap or the buff that I'm going to take. After this buff, hopefully I will try to showcase you the guns. Now the guns are pretty pretty hilariously strong in my opinion. I have this range mod built into this Gdansk with the help of commander skills. So I'm just waiting for the buff to get up and running. And once I get the buff, then I know that there is not a whole lot of destroyers. Probably there might be one because uh, we already got there two of their destroyers. So hopefully, as I, like, as I can able to show you guys that I have gotten a buff, now I can actually farm this Yamato. And now the fun begins. The Yamato is basically around 13.4 km. With this insane shell velocity that Gdansk can put out with this absurd DPM, cannot do much about me. Like, I can just farm this guy with ease with that 10% fire chance, and Yamato have actually no chance but to disengage. And he's turning out eventually, and uh, right now you can see that he absolutely realizes his fate. Like, I can't able to do anything about this Gdansk. I mean, even he shoot the guns, I have the speed boost, like, for myself. So I can just speed juke that at range, like, it's not that easy for the Yamato itself. To basically land some of the shells so that's exactly what's going to happen he disengages i got two fires so he's basically running away now and this basically giving me a lot of value that i'm trying to help for my teammates i can now go and try to spot the other destroyer which is probably the somers that is like probably have never seen in the entire game i mean as you can see in the minimap there is nowhere a somers spotted 
So this is something that I have to be very careful of, like from its torpedoes perfect like uh, perspective, because he can actually send some of the torpedoes, and Gdansk is actually a big hull, so it's not going to be easy to basically dodge those torpedoes. But anyways. Now I will try to feature uh, how to basically make Gdansk work. Uh, I mean, you can simply go and try to help your teammates. And what I'm trying to do is to basically get the buff since I am a destroyer with high concealment. I mean, the concealment of Gdansk is around 8.3 km with my build. You can improve it a lot better, but I think it's not really worth it. Since you have a basically 9 km radar and 8.3 km detection does not really matter to be honest because you will just radar them anyway. And I mean, with with the better concealment build you will never going to outspot destroyers anyway so there's that now you can able to see that i have torpedoes that i have sent towards the yamato now these are not like holland torpedoes there are actually uh, 10 kilometer torpedoes unlike holland and since i didn't build with the speed in mind they have 83 knots of sorry 86 knots of speed with decent reload time of 92.1 but I think in this case, it's an arms race mood, so it has a base torpedo reload time of 100 seconds, which is not that bad, to be honest, considering it's a very good gunboat. And you can clearly see that I sent some torpedoes to Yamato, but uh, unfortunately, I was expecting the torpedoes to land, but the torpedoes didn't have enough range, and they felt pretty much short. Now here, in this case, somebody is trying to shoot me out there, and I have to be very careful that... I, I'm not sure even like who is that actually the player who is trying to shoot me probably behind the island but since I can also use the island and I can actually disengage I can easily farm this Yamato with no issues whatsoever and that's what I'm exactly doing uh, the HE shells as you can see uh, are pretty easy to land on a battleship even at 13 km and I mean it in this arms race mood obviously you will get a lot much uh, more damage over time because your alpha damage will increase with the damage buff. Your reload time will also in, like decrease with the damage buff or the buff of the reload. So it is pretty much a very high damaging farming sort of a game that you can actually get in the arms race mode, which is obviously the case here. But still, uh, now the problem will happen. Now in this case, Napoli actually showing me broadside. Now in this case, I didn't have enough pen on the Gdansk that I can actually able to do much, much damage. I have to literally hit on the superstructure to get a lot more penetration damage. As you can see, a lot less penetration hits and more non-penetration damage, which is a problem associated with Gdansk itself that you cannot really able to counter light cruisers in general. Because, I mean, if you do have AP like Kleber, because it's actually the hull very much comp comparable to Kleber, you can actually able to land a lot of Citadel hits. In this case, Gidans cannot do it, and that's probably the reason why uh, it does suffer against light like, cruisers. Otherwise, it's a really, really, probably one of the best tech tree destroyers that you can actually buy right now. It is one of the most fun destroyers that you can actually grind, and it's really good. Like, the gun reload is so good that you can actually counter destroyers with the help of radar and smoke. And then, I mean, you can also use smoke to form battleships with these, unlike Holland. So it's a lot much more sort of a, you know, generalistic sort of destroyer that is good in basically everything. And since you have really good concealment, you are still sort of a having this role of a destroyer, which is absolutely amazing. Now here in this case, what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can clearly see, that in arms race mood, we are basically not able to get into the middle of that cap, this bigger cap that actually gets into the arms race, obviously. If we didn't get it on time, the enemy points will tick really fast and we might lose the game. So I know what I have to do. I'm trying to get my heal buff for the, for the whole team and then we will try to basically push towards the A. I am still not sure where the Somers is, but finally in the minimap, the Somers is actually last spotted around basically the left side of the minimap and now it's spotted in the middle of the A cap. So it is very important to note that Somers can actually be countered by me in Gdansk but I think here what I'm doing is uh, since the CV actually trying to reset him I'm trying to farm this Yamato and push him back and I think this is a bit of a selfish gameplay that I did here because this is what I should not do in the first place and i think you should not really do as well i mean this is a bit of a selfish thing that i'm doing right now just trying to farm some damage on the yamato and as you can see that like uh, this yamato i think i farmed him before and now i am still farming him 
getting a couple of fires he disappeared he turns out and he basically have no chance to deal with me at all like i can smoke up i farm battleship with these he doesn't have any chance whatsoever but this fire chance is so insane with 10 percent that you have basically like a crazy amount of damage potential on basically anything like even the cruisers like heavy cruisers are pretty vulnerable to gdansk now here i'm trying to reset the somers but he got reset it already so what i'm trying to do here is to basically go towards the somers counter him with my radar and try to be a bit careful about this napoli and yamato that is trying to basically look at me which is very important because if yamato or maybe even the uh, midway because i actually unlike holland doesn't have much chance against midway like if he comes up with he bombs if he is a half decent player in this game i would have maybe died in the first five minutes of the game because last time the midway bombs just come across me and they didn't touch me at all so which is pretty unfortunate but anyways now i will try to feature you that this is the reason why you should grind Gdansk. Now, there's a Somers that is pushing in the middle of the sea, oh, sorry, in the middle of my detection range, and I'm kind of concealed right now. I have 86 north of, north of torpedoes, and I can send towards the Somers. Now, I did send them towards the Somers, expecting to get maybe a couple of torpedo hits, but I think he might be able to dodge them. And now, I still do have a radar, and since he's around 6 kilometers, I can easily spot him regardless. So, here... I need to kill this Somers no matter what because this is the guy who is trying to get this cap. Now actually I, I didn't realize it but I did get a torpedo hit on the Somers which is really nice and now I started to farm the Somers. Now he's trying to turn out trying to basically make sure that he will not die but only a couple of shell hits is basically going to be enough to kill this poor Somers and that's the reason why you should absolutely grind Gdansk. It is a really, really good destroyer. If you are a destroyer lover who loves to get a blend between a gunpower and torpedoes, I think Gdansk is so, so good. I mean, Gdansk torpedoes, as you can see here, also have slightly better alpha damage compared to Holland. I mean, this is a bit buffed alpha damage because of the arms race, but I can, you know, uh, I can make this assured to you that it is slightly better than Holland. Like, I think it's like 11,200 alpha damage in Gdansk compared to Holland which is still not bad considering it's a gunboat and here as you can see the Satsuma pushed in I'm using the islands as cover and I could easily farm this guy now obviously as I said before you will going to get a lot of non pens since that's basically the weakness whenever anyone show broadside but since you can set so many fires it's kind of crazy how much you can actually able to deal against a particular target now here in this case Wujing, it's a tier 9 Alsace by the way, if you don't know it's a French Alsace uh, clone and I'm starting to farm this guy with ease as well, like look at the shell velocity, look at the guns, I mean you can easily able to land a lot of shells on the superstructure if you know what you're doing and you can do a lot of damage, like look at that, a lot of penetrations just by hitting the superstructure and also getting fires along the way, like I already got two fires so I mean it is crazy right, and now this guy kind of Again, realizing that uh, he should not push at all, but getting smashed by a Satsuma and get burned down to death by my fires, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. But anyways, this game is kind of over. And that's all the gameplay that I have showed you in, of the Gdansk basically shows that how strong Gdansk currently is in the game. You have the radar to counter destroyers. You have so much damage potential, like with the guns, even with the HE shells that you can actually able to kill destroyers even though you might need a bit of a support since the radar uh, is a, a bit of like of a weird thing like as, as I can show you here it's only 10 seconds and uh, your cooldown even though is also really fast 10 seconds of radar means that you will just get sort of a glimpse of a destroyer but anyways it's still super valuable like for 10 seconds you can even like land like two three shells like couple of salvos on a particular destroyer and you can actually do a lot of damage so any concealed destroyer like having a really good concealment destroyer actually doesn't matter for the Gdansk at all so it's really really good in that regard overall if you are looking to grind the pan-european Gdansk line absolutely worth it it is so good sh shape to be honest to play you will enjoy it as a torpedo sorry as a torpedo boat lover 
but not to the levels of Holland but it is still gonna be so good as a gunboat lover that you will absolutely love it it is so so good as you can see I mean right now the DPM and the firepower with this arms race mode is kind of bonkers but still <laughs> it is so so good like damage output potential is so amazing you can just get fires upon fires and you can do really really good stuff you have really good speed and you can basically speed juke every single thing oh give me a second and you can just do exactly that and you can farm basically every ship in the game obviously there are weaknesses but the strengths are so much good that as you have seen right now it is amazing so definitely it's a worthy ship to buy and i highly recommend you to grind this line if you have not and that's why you should definitely get it for free basically you just need to grind it so thank you guys for watching i hope you basically like this gameplay and if you do like the gameplay please comment like or subscribe and i will catch you into the next one peace out